All right, guys, I got the tackle box. Let's do this. Thanks, Perry. <laughs> get some all right luke has an interesting catch for us right here as promised we are going to eat jellyfish the stingray Jack. what is up guys i want to thank you very much for coming out and joining us for another video today we have a pretty cool adventure for you. We are here in Port Aransas. We are going to go do a little bit of an adventure on the backside of Padre Island. We got some fun stuff for you because there are all kinds of neat things to see back there because not many people get to go and see it. So the fishing started to die down just a little bit. We figured we'd come up here onto the beach and explore the beach here at the Honey Hole. There's all kinds of fun shells and uh, you just never know what you're going to find. So let's go take a look. I agree. It's worth keeping just for the sheer shoot. size of it. Yeah, even the one we had Although, to leave it on the beach because it's going to crush everything in the bucket. Okay. That thing's huge. Wow. It's a lot bigger than the ones you normally see. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. These are, these are, I usually get these once you get the, I get the stuff off. You just can't fit enough in your hands. <laughs> Yeah, those are cohogs. Yep. No, well, uh, if you're looking for shells, yeah. Hey, just every shell you grab is just a collector's dream. Got barnacles on. Got to put them in the bag. Welcome to the backside of Padre Island. <laughs> <laughs> so what Rachel has here, these are called lightning whelks. Beautiful looking shells that we have down here in Texas. And we've also shown you the casings. And they're hermit crab free. Which is good. So we're not killing any hermit crabs. Yay. The size of that thing. Oh, hey, it's a whole thing. Biggest quahog I've ever seen in my life. This is a tulip snail. What else you got there? Is that a conch? That's a rare find around here. Oh, crap, dead. You like that when I found it. One of the great things about living in a place like this, I am just so tickled about your ability just to get out and get away from all of humanity. And there's signs of stuff on the horizon, buildings and boats. And drones. <laughs> uh, it's just nice to get out and find yourself your own little stretch of beach. If you guys are interested in taking a look at all of the shells that we find today, I will do a separate video on that, and we'll have a link to it in the top left-hand corner of your screen, wherever that's at. 
we'll sit there and identify all these guys for you so you know what you're looking for. I'd like to give a big shout out to Peter here. He's the one that's doing our drone footage for the video. Thank you for bringing that out, Peter. That is some really gorgeous looking shots that you got. If you guys would be interested in getting your hands on some drone B-roll and you like what Peter's doing, hit me up in the email that's in the description down below. I'll get you in touch with him. <laughs> he almost dropped it right in the drink. Damn biting flies. Okay, show me. What are you looking for? Flakes. Flakes. You're looking for <gasps> crap shells is what you're looking for. Go get yourself some of them good ones. Really? Re no, I'm looking for the inside of oysters. Oysters. Gotcha. Okay. Flakes. Oyster flakes. And look, the entire Sounds beach. Sounds like my kind of cereal. Look, the entire beach look, is made up of... Yeah, the entire beach is made up of seashells. And look. Oh, shoot. Look at this. A tanker went by just a moment ago. It's sucking all of the water out here. We're about to have a big boat wake come by. <laughs> Get it washing in. The beautiful waves they create. It's a surfer's dream. I didn't hear it with it. Just perfect little barrels. Be careful on the sides of the ship channel like this because those big tankers come through and you don't see them you don't notice them with the direction that this beach is facing they come up out of Corpus Christi and their wake washes in you don't even know it's there until it's there it'll swamp your boat and it'll sink your truck if you manage to drive up in here those are some of the things that make this a little bit more of a remote beach which makes it a little more quiet and secluded for us to be able to come back here and explore all on our own. Oh, wow. Have Check you seen that out. Like, oh, I could think it was tiger. Yeah, <laughs> hold on to that guy. Tiger eye in class. Well, we had an absolute blast out here today, but it's time to get back to port and go cook us up some stingrays.
water is so deep where they're drilling for oil with these guys that they rigs float and they make great fishing grounds. Really hard to get. One of these days, we hope to see these guys actually offshore. They're great for tuna. So anytime you're pulling into Port Aransas and you're coming across the ferry, you're looking at these guys from a distance, that's what they look like close up. They took a reef up there, look at that. I know, look at that. This is what I was saying, look, this is insane. This is what the idea was when they pulled them out. They break the reef, and then when they, when they blew them out, they killed all the same thing they do is they have this rope out here, that's it. Big oil rigs like this, when you find them offshore, are a treasure trove of really interesting species of fish and coral and barnacles. You find all kinds of neat things out swimming around these guys and living off them. They're their own ecosystem. We'll get you guys offshore in a future video, show you the fish that we can get on these guys. But for now, we're getting hungry for some stingrays. So again, we'll see you back in the marina. Hear more about that guy later. Boys and girls, that was the haul today. We got ourselves three and a half stingray, one gaff top, and one really big hardhead. We have a little bit of a thing for trash fish, if you haven't noticed that. So what we got here, guys, we're finally back to the house and cooking up some stingray. We got Master Chef Peter on the job. Let's take a look and see what he's doing. So what are you making? Uh, I haven't named it yet. It's completely dead set cook using what we have in there. So it is a white wine reduction <laughs> on uh, what is it here? Stingray, stingray cook and white wine reduction with some garlic and herb, uh, vinaigrette sauce served on top of a sliced tomato. Yep. 
a little extra. And with all that sugary wine reduction. Cheers to a good day fishing. Dude, that is so good. It's like a salad and a seafood meal all wrapped into one. Plus it looks pretty good too. So for anybody out there who thinks stingray is not a good eating fish, you're so, so wrong. Oh, mmm. That was, where'd it go? Where'd my bottle go? Mango strawberry Moscato reduction. Peter, you killed it, man. So. Well, guys, there you have it. We had a fantastic day exploring and adventuring around the backside of Padre Island, the backside of Port Aransas area. We managed to get ourselves a few stingray, and as you can see, we did a pretty good job cooking those guys up. I want to thank you guys again for watching this video and checking us out. We very much appreciate your support. Make sure that you slap that notification bell and also please subscribe. We do appreciate it, guys. We look forward to the next thousand subscribers, and we will see you guys in the next video. Y'all have a good evening.